welcome back. I'm not sure whether I've got good volume this time. I've just gone through this whole process and found that the volume wasn't that good. <laughs> Hope it works out this time. Okay, so... Woo! I think that's about to fall off as well. So hold on while I just shuffle myself around. Steady on. Steady on one moment, travellers. There we go. I can, I can never quite get this snowball in the right place, but forgive me while I shuffle about. Okay, so happy Imolk to you. Um, Imolk is a quarter point festival, that is that it happens at exactly the point between the winter solstice and the uh, spring equinox. These are the sun festivals, the equinoxes and the solstices are the sun festivals, and at the exact quarter point between the sun festivals in the year, in the wheel of the year, um, we have the fire festivals. And Imolk is the first of the fire festivals. And it is a celebration of the goddess Bridget or Bridget or Breed. There are a number of different pronunciations of this Celtic goddess's name. So her traditions go back literally thousands of years. She um, has her spiritual home in Kildare in Ireland where it is um, said that there was a fire kept burning day and night uh, for hundreds and hundreds of years um, in honour of the fire goddess Bridget. Uh, one of the reasons why she's an inspiration to me is because she's a very integrated um, aspect of the feminine in so far as this archetypal energy that's associated with Bridget um, covers a very broad range of characteristics. She's both um, um, associated to animal husbandry, the care of animals, the respect of animals, especially domestic animals. Um, she's affiliated to milk. Some evil say, even say that the word imolk has got some uh, root in the word milk, this being the time of year that the uh, lambs are born, that the milk starts to flow from the mother. And the mother's milk, of course, um, goes back in many, many traditions as having a, a, a deeply nourishing um, um, property for the well-being of, uh, well, of everybody, but especially the babies of the milk, one would have thought. We're living in a time, unfortunately, where we've started to rather ruthlessly exploit uh, milk production and the dairy herds and so on. Uh, this is a time whether you are a vegan or are not a vegan, uh, now is a good time to raise your consciousness on what has happened to the animal um, in order for you to receive the animal product um, because the energy that they experienced in their body is going into your body at a very basic level. Um, as the saying goes, we are what we eat. Um, so if there's pain and misery and suffering, let's have a little breathe around that and see whether that's what we want to put into our own bodies. Um, of course, it's possible to get more and less ethical products. I'm going to be making a trip this afternoon to a um, local dairy herd, a very small herd, which one of my friends keeps locally, and I'll be doing some prayer and ritual with that herd, not only for those particular individuals, but for the collective um, of cattle worldwide, which has such a long tradition of supporting um, humankind with um, both their meat and their um, dairy product and also um, as um, animals that are used uh, in, in some places still used um, as uh, so-called beasts of burden you know and so on so for building and um, moving things about so this is a time to start thinking about the animal kingdom and what the animal kingdom has done to support our survival and well-being over the years um, back to our goddess Bridget I'm going to show you a picture uh, on the screen a little bit of a close up. Um, she is a fire goddess. You can see her there holding the fire in her hands in this lovely illustration. Um, and in the corner of the image you can also see Bridget's cross, St Bridget's cross, which is created out of reeds at this um, particular time of year. And it is said that people in the past um, in Ireland and, and in certain parts of um, England and Scotland in the Celtic um, territories they would have hung a cross uh, such as that on the door of their house on St. Bridget's Eve, that's this evening, and where the goddess saw the crosses, she would bless the house and she would bless the house for the year. Some people also will leave um, a length of fabric, a scarf, hanging on the door 
and that that scarf would take on um, the blessing of the goddess. And then at some point during the year, if they were feeling unwell or if they had some kind of physical ailment and they needed a little bit of um, support with that, then they would wrap the St. Bridget's scarf around that part of their body. So we have a definite sense of this goddess being associated with care, with healing, with nurturing, with taking care of both the animals and humans. But in addition to that, most interestingly, She's also associated to um, working metal, ironwork. She's often depicted in a forge with a great big hammer and an anvil. So as a fire goddess, she's got something very dynamic, very powerful about her. And I love the fact that these energies, which are sometimes seen as exclusive, one can either be seen as a sort of gentle, nurturing feminine type or as a powerful, forthright feminine energy. But to be able to embrace both of those effortlessly, to be powerful and gentle is really um, an aspect which I find most inspiring. So I'm going to read a little bit about uh, the message which comes out of the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards. This is Doreen Virtue's um, Oracle deck. If you haven't seen it before, it looks like that. And she offers the following about Bridget. We hold her image up for you again if I can work out how to do that. Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. First, be quite clear about your intentions. If you are unclear, then confusion will lessen your power and force. Like a candle in the dark, be very clear and bright in what is happening to you. Make no mistake, I will guide and protect you. And yet, think of the unparalleled rise in your own viewpoint if you are to stand up for yourself. How about speaking for your own needs and your deepest truth? Now is the time to touch your power, for its heat and flame will ignite your passion, which will propel you forwards in countless ways. Even in the face of fear, you can still stand up for your ideals and your truth. Be unwavering and make your stand today. So you can really feel that energy um, of the fire element. Um, there's something uncompromising about it. Uh, this is not wishy-washy. This is really about direct and forthright action in whatever is going on in your life at this time. Various meanings of the card. Be assertive. Don't worry about what others think. Trust that your actions will work out fine. Speak your truth and put your foot down. So that's a really uh, solid invitation to anyone who's out there wondering what their next steps are. Seems like get clear what your next steps are and commit to them unapologetically. About Bridget. Bridget is a Celtic triple goddess, which means that she represents three aspects of woman. The young virgin, the nurturing and loving mother, and the crone, the sage, or the wise woman. And that's all depicted in this beautiful sculpture that my daughter gifted me a number of years ago. I just thought I'd show you that because you can see the triple goddess so beautifully depicted in that sculpture there. The little image of the maiden, the mother in the middle, pregnant, full, and the crone or the wise woman on the end. Each of those aspects of the feminine journey, powerful in their own way. Um, in fact, arguably becoming more powerful as you go on. So uh, where did we get to? Bridget is a fiery goddess who tirelessly protects those who call upon her. And she's a feminine counterpart to Archangel Michael's warrior energy. Bridget's temple is in Kildare in Ireland She's celebrated worldwide on February the 1st, that's today, the ancient sacred day called Imolc. This marks the beginning of springtime and celebrates an increase in daylight. So I will be getting on with some celebrations later this afternoon, going to see my cattle friends and um, also celebrating with a bit of a feast this evening um, involving mashed potatoes, one of my favourite um, treats and uh, one of the uh, foods which is associated with the Feast of St. Bridget. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, um, may I wish you 
the warmth of St. Bridget um, and that whatever seeds you've planted, um, whatever your creative dreams or aspirations are, um, I trust that uh, the warmth of the sun will return and they will come to full fruition, that your dreams may be realised. And I'll see you on the next video. Okay, take care. Bye for now.